One of the biggest issues that we will find when installing a video surveillance camera or even a video doorbell video surveillance camera or video surveillance camera is exactly the power adapter, which usually looks like this, depending on the region you will have different or not sockets, but it is a conventional power adapter, which is great. We can put it on any socket and then plug into our device. The problem is that usually we don't want to plug in these devices on any socket. We want to put it on that derivation box that we can then connect the surveillance camera or we want to take advantage of a connection from a light bulb that we have on the top of our wall, for example, and we want to put our own derivation box, which is those small boxes. And if the term is not correct, I apologize for that. And usually these big things will not fit on those places. Now, over the years, we have been using solutions similar to this one right over here. This is just my playground, but what we can do is purchase these and we will purchase according to the power that we will require, but then we will need to solder uh, the AC side and the DC side. And this is a waste of our time. And if you are like myself, trying to improve ways not to waste our valuable time, then this is one of the simplest, cheapest and fastest ways that I did find to connect these devices. Basically, what we will do is connect these to our AC socket or the light that we will grab, one for the live, one for the neutral, that is it, and we will use the yellow ones. And on the DC side, we will use red for positive and black for negative. Now, usually all these brands, I'm gonna leave some links down below, they also bring in a extra barrel like this one right over here, which has the wires hanging so that we can, instead of using this adapter, use one of these devices. Now, usually surveillance cameras use 12 volts and uh, smart doorbells or bigger devices will use 24 volts. I already tested with this Ezeviz smart doorbell and it works great. I had one of these smallest ones inside, which I did solder, lost time and whatnot, but right now it's working just fine. Now, there are two options and we will talk in just a few moments about the 12 volts and 24 volts. And for those that are not familiar with this, what should you get? But before that, I will leave the link down below so that you can purchase one of these. That will cost about four euros or four US dollars. We have the option to get with this white case right over here, or if we want just the inside, we can also get, but I would suggest to get the full package because it's about 30 cents more for this. And if we are putting this on a small box, it might make contact if we don't have the box with any wires and it's not as safe. So for 30 cents or something like that, we will get this option right over here. It's from AliExpress. It's not usually my place of choice. Usually I go to Amazon. I can try to leave a few links down below as well, but this one costs about four euros. And on Amazon, the solutions that I did find was about 10 euros, 15 euros. And if we are just installing one, that is fine. We can choose this one or we can choose the other one. But in my particular case, I'm about to update my main device in terms of surveillance, which I did in the past. I will leave links right over here about six or seven years ago where I did modify the power adapters and whatnot, things that doesn't make sense anymore. And if we add four or five or six of these if it's only four euros then we will spend about 20 or 25 but if it's 15 euros then we will spend about 100 and 100 and something euros just to do the same job and my feedback was that i did purchase three of these uh, 24 volts and 12 volts they arrived in about five or six days and they are working great one of them it's already 24 7 working for a few days here with the smart doorbell and it works really really well now one of the questions that might arise for those that are not experienced with power and all these nomenclatures and numbers and whatnot. I would suggest, first of all, to talk to an electrician, even for the installation, although it's very easy and probably you have seen the steps that I did, but I would talk to someone or even hire someone to do the installation. But in terms of the power, it's pretty straightforward. If we look at this one right over here and even this one right over here, so that I can show you something. Can you see one with blue paint where it says 24 volts? 
So expect this level of professionalism when we are purchasing devices of this price. So this one is 24 and this one is 12 volts. And this is really important when deciding which model to get. I need to know exactly if it is 12 or if it is 24. In this particular case, 12 and 24. And we can find that info usually on this brand's website. You will have the sheet or you can also find it on the power adapter that you are replacing or you can find usually on the manual or even on the case for the power that the device uses. Now, for example, let's say that this is 12 volts, okay? So I will need the version for 12 volts on this power adapter. But let's say that this one here consumes 12 volts, one amp. If I take a look at this one, it says 12 volts, three amps. Can I purchase superior amps power of the device that I'm getting? And the answer is yes. And actually we should do, it doesn't need to be much, but we should have a power adapter that it's 12 volts, the same voltage, but with more amps than what the device needs because the device will only ask and retrieve the amps that it needs. So if it needs one amp, it will use one amp from the three amps available on this device. So this is totally fine and it's great. If you find a device with 12 volts, which is the important, three, four, five amps. Now the other way around, it's not fine. So let's say that this device has 12 volts, one amp. And if you find one of these devices, 12 volts, 0.5 amps, this is not fine. Because what will happen is that even if the device powers on, it will request more power from here than the device is capable of outputting. So if it's only capable of outputting 0.5 and the device is requesting one, what can happen is that it will overheat and it can damage it and it can cause fires and things that are not good at all. So we really need to pay attention to this detail. If it's higher on the power adapter, it's okay. If it's lower, it's not. And then just decide if it's 12 volts, 24 volts, which is the most common. But if it's not 12 or if it's not 24, then you will need to search for other solutions. For example, this one right over here is a 5 volt adapter. There are 19 volt adapters and so on. So with this solution, hopefully there will be a lot of projects that will come to life at a low price and in a really easy way to assemble, which is just plug and play. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. So hopefully this video was helpful for you to decide if this is the gadget that you are looking for for your next installation, regardless of the brand. And besides that, hopefully I was able to pass to that side of the screen how we can select the power without messing our heads, searching exactly for the power that we see right over here, but being safe at the same time, which is the most important factor of everything that we have discussed here on this particular video. If that was the case, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.